Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Paul Cruz Show. That's right. You heard it right. The Paul Cruz Show. It's been many months uh, since I've done a podcast. And there's many reasons why. But, you know, there's been challenges uh, that happened due to the this pandemic uh, coronavirus. And, you know, I got hit hard. You know, I've been challenged. But it was the greatest thing. That happened to me, believe it or not. It may sound strange. Why? And the reason it sounds strange is because most people, in my experience, take adversity and they buckle. And for me, I embrace it. I challenge it. And I love it because that's where the rewards it. And in order to do that, You got to have a certain attitude, a certain mindset. You have to want to take on those challenges because when you take on those challenges and you turn them into opportunities, not only do you benefit yourself, but more importantly for me is a lot of other people will benefit from it. People I know, people I don't know, people that I will meet in the future. Because one thing I've learned a long time ago Attitude is contagious, is yours worth catching. So about three weeks ago, I did a video for the Paul Cruz Show. And I was mentioning that I'm going to come back with some new, stronger, powerful content. So the question was, what topic do I start off with? So I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it straight. I want to welcome everyone to the Paul Cruz Show. I'm going to be going on vacation This Tuesday, the 29th of September, I'll be back October 11th, and I have my team ready. And we've been meeting and talking and planning on what we're going to do to not only provide the best product and services available to our customers, but we want to put out the best content out there. So the topic for today is having a clean mindset so that you can develop the right attitude. What do I mean by that? Before I dig into the topic, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Paul Cruz Show. I created this show so that I can share my experiences with you. But more importantly, it's about speaking what needs to be said, not what people want to hear. It's for the open-minded person who wants to better their business, wants to increase their sales, wants to develop the better mindset and a better attitude so that they can grow in their business and in their personal life. And again, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not here thinking I'm a guru. I could change people's life. That's not what I'm all about. I don't have an ego that big. I let God do that. But here's the bottom line. You don't have the right mindset. Your attitude is going to be wrong. And just think about this. When you wake up in the morning, The first thing that enters your mind is going to dictate the actions you take that day. Good, bad, or different. And the way you train your mind is the way your attitude is going to show. And the attitude you show is going to build your character. And your character will be will be revealed by how you deal with problems and situations and adversity. For me... I love being uncomfortable. I love adversity. I love challenges and I love trials. It sounds weird, right? But it's not. Why? Because I know something causes it to happen. And when you understand the cause, you're going to understand the right effects. Because your actions are tied to your thoughts. And where do your thoughts come from? Your mindset. Where does your attitude come from? Your mindset. So it's important that you understand that everything that enters your mind is going to eventually come out in a verbal communication or in the actual action of it. Good, bad, or different. So if your mindset and you allow bad thoughts to come into your mind and it festers, guess what's going to happen? Eventually, your attitude is going to come out, which is going to create the action. Does that make sense? Why is this important? Because there's a lot of psychologists and psychiatrists and philosophies and all that crap that they still don't know why the mind works a certain way. 
And it's very simple. The way you think is the way you're going to act. Now, this is important, especially me as a business owner, as a salesperson, as a sales trainer, as a sales coach. It's important to understand why your sales may be down, why your business may not be growing. Because sometimes it could be just a, a, a mindset. Changing the mindset could change a whole aspect of it. And I'll give you an example. You know, these forest fires in California, what caused it to start? What was management? In January, there was a report, 100 million trees were dead. They were warned to clean it up. They didn't clean it up. Six, seven months later, guess what happened? There's infernos, fires, millions of acres being burnt. That was the cause. Why? Because they had the wrong mindset, the wrong attitude. So something caused that to happen, right? So it's no different with your mindset and your attitude. So when a problem comes or adversity happens, like with this coronavirus, a lot of people got hurt. Innocent people got hurt. For me personally, it's a hoax. But personally, I got hurt personally with my business. I had to shut my business down. There's many things that took place. But you know what? When that did happen, I embraced it. I'd, I'd say, okay, what was the cause of this? Why it happened? I understood why it happened, and I was able to deal with it, and it was a blessing. Why? Because once my mindset was right and it accepted what happened, I was able to do something about it. And by me doing something about it, not only am I going to benefit, but other people are going to benefit as well, because I made the necessary changes that I needed to make to get my business back on track, regardless of what took place. So keep this in mind, guys. Always ask yourself and examine your mindset and your attitude because your attitude is contagious, whether it's good or bad. And the question you need to ask yourself, is it worth catching? And I'll give you an example about attitude. You could have 100 people working in a company. You could have 90 great people that are nice, that are hardworking people. That are, are honest people. You can have 10 people that got the wrong attitude, wrong mindset, are selfish, are corrupt, like to lie, do all the wrong things. And they'll infiltrate and destroy the other 90 people. Because it is contagious. So you got to think about that. And ask yourself this question. You know, do you examine your mindset every day? Do you examine what you're allowed to enter your mind? Because there's a thing out there or a phrase called G-I-G-O, called garbage in, garbage out. And remember, when you let that thought come into your mind, your attitude is going to come from that. That's just the way it is. That's why I believe that you control your mindset, you control your attitude. Because at the end of the day, is that's <coughs> going to be the outcome of how you do business, how you are in your personal life. Does that make sense? So, you know, ask yourself that question. You know, is my mindset right or clean? Is my attitude worth catching? You know, is it contagious? Is it worth catching? And when you start to examine yourself that way and you start to see the things that are wrong with yourself and you can accept that, then you can make the necessary changes uh, to make things better. Does that make sense? So this is, you know, a short podcast right now. Uh, it's my first day back in a while. I'm going to be going on vacation, but I wanted to share this video and this audio uh, with you guys. So hopefully you guys take advantage of that. So till we speak again, I want to thank you again for being part of the Paul Cruz show. And please stay tuned to some coming great content that will help your business grow exponentially. And until we speak again, I say goodbye for now. This is Paul Cruz with The Paul Cruz Show. Have a great day. Bye for now.